We're at Giles Weather Station. It's um, 330 kilometres uh, west of Ayersrog, about 100 kilometres uh, west of the Northern Territory WA border. Uh, I'm Colin, I'm the officer in charge of the weather station and um, the other observer is Peter and uh, so Peter is, uh, he just does the normal observing work and uh, I do the observing work and all the admin. <laughs> I've got the complete uh, set of Bureau remote stations, there's uh, Giles weather station, Willis Island and then um, four winters in the Antarctic. Now this is my fourth trip to the weather station, uh, first uh, was in 1986 um, when I was a young fella and um, not far out of training school. So I just can't keep away. It's the uh, the beautiful desert environment. Um, it's a very picturesque place around here. There's lots of things to see. But there are a lot of flies and they're particularly bad at the moment. Well, at 8.45 a.m. every morning, uh, we release a, uh, a weather balloon with a radio sound attached to it. And uh, every uh, weather station around the world releases a balloon at that time as well. Yeah, so um, this morning Peter is on shift, so um, he'll be releasing the uh, balloon. You have a reflective radar target tied beneath the balloon and then beneath that you uh, attach a radio sonde. The radio sonde records temperature, pressure and humidity and it transmits that uh, data back to our ground unit. You put the balloon over the nozzle of the filler table, go into the next room where we have our stored hydrogen and um, turn the tap on and uh, the balloon when it uh, fills it'll get to about a metre, maybe a metre and a half wide. We have a, a sprinkler system on the roof of the balloon shed that uh, we use to wet down the balloon. We need it to use a gas that's lighter than air, so the, the two choices are hydrogen or helium. Helium is too expensive out here, we produce our own hydrogen on the station, but of course the hazard of hydrogen is that it's quite explosive. You have to be careful of static, and um, so that's why we wet the balloon down. We also wear um, full protective gear, so every uh, bit of uh, skin is covered up. We tie off the balloon with, um, with met string, take the balloon, the target and the radio sonde outside and um, when everyone's ready with their cameras we uh, release the balloon. It'll go up to about 24, 25,000 metres before it just gets to the point where it can't expand anymore. It'll usually end up downwind. Um, maybe a couple hundred kilometres away, so they're very rarely found, but occasionally uh, someone will find one, and um, it is a souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> then you can kind of put your feet up and, uh, and uh, look at all the data coming in. <laughs> 